hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video I will show you the joins so joins are basically very important concept into any business intelligence tool or if you are coming from the SQL background I think I don't really need to say how important a join is and day in and day out you have to work with the joins right so um, how does join work well it works in the background of the script so if I go into the data load editor let me click OK I'm not worried about the changes that I made so um, so there is some script which is generated automatically in the previous video uh, we had talked about the cross table which converts the uh, pivot table into a long table for that uh, uh, analysis that you can do within the ClickSense as that's a requirement that it should be a long table. Now uh, if you need to join let's say for example we had explored the two tables like orders and uh, their returns right in the previous videos. So these are the two tables and if you see by default they are joined by the order ID. So in ClickSense if uh, you are not providing uh, any kind of join keyword or anything what ClickSense internal structure does is it looks at the order ID uh, here in this case and uh, create a join automatically and that's basically a default join and that is the outer join now uh, if I let's say specify join over here uh, this this will have the same impact which uh, which which was there uh, without even specifying join because that's that's the kind of uh, USP of the uh, click sense that it creates automatic join based on the same field that are having same names so that's that's the uh, first thing is uh, if there is a default join that is the outer join now apart from that you have the option that you can specify even the left join right now uh, when I specify left join this is absolutely perfect but it will do the join only with the previously loaded table let's say if there were table prior to that then I would have to specify the name of that table name of table since there is nothing uh, it will not going to connect but for let's say but for the sake of this example let's specify return dollar and now you are absolutely fine so so the main thing is uh, if you want to join do a left join on the previous table then you don't have to specify it will by default uh, take the previous table but if there is any other table prior to the previous table then you need to specify that name a force relationship and what left join does it takes all the values from the previous table or the table that you have specified and only the matching records so let's say for example if it has 10 records or uh, uh, the return table has only 10 records or the 10 orders that has been returned then only those 10 matching rows will come from this table and will be connected to this table right um, after that um, you have the right join that you can specify again condition is same it will do the right join with the previously loaded table and we don't have to specify if that's what we need to do but if there is any other table prior to this table then and we want to do a join on that then we have to specify the name of that table so what it does is uh, it creates a right join and it first take this table compared to left join where it left join takes this table as the first table right join takes this table as the first table so if let's say it has uh, 1000 records and this table is having only 10 records then those 10 records if it is matching the order id with this table will will be joined to this table and the uh, rest of the 990 records or the cells for this particular uh, table will not be having any value right so that's the right join that means the table that you have um, the latter table all the records from this table and the matching records from this table whereas in case of left join all the records from the earlier table and only the matching records from this table 
So that's how um, you can basically uh, create uh, different types of join based on the needs of your business requirement. So last but not the least is the uh, inner join and I think it is important that I mention that. And what inner join does is uh, it will it will going to create uh, the inner join between these two tables and only the matching records will come. So for example, it has the um, uh, let's say 10 different uh, records and the matching time records are here then only those matching records will come uh, here and give you will get the output based on that so left join right join inner join outer join i have uh, shown you in a very short example and uh, from the scripting perspective here but uh, there is a lot of material out there and if you are coming from the sql background as i mentioned earlier i think you are well versed with it but if you are a beginner, then I would really suggest there is a really good material out there. If you just type uh, joins or SQL join, then you will get a very good material and a very good information. I think I don't need to reinvent the wheel in that case. So that's about how you can specify the different types of join here and uh, get the desired output. So that's pretty much it for this video and I will meet you in the new video, the new topic.